Hi, this is Drew with Drew Brashler Photography with a quick tutorial on how to merge a few photos together into a panoramic uh, using Adobe Bridge and Photoshop CS5. So at a recent wedding, I wanted to use my 50mm to create a really nice square portrait of this bride's dress while hanging in a tree outside of their house. So I quickly shot a small series of uh, panoramics of this dress, just handheld, nothing fancy. Uh, so I've already processed these images from RAW through Lightroom room and converted them uh, to JPEGs. Uh, one thing to note about processing these um, is when you're editing, make sure you globally edit the image. And by globally, I mean applying the same amount of curves or brightness, even sharpness adjustments to all of the photos evenly in a panoramic series. This will help reduce uh, any lines that you may get. Um, so I know that there's many ways to merge these photos, but I've found the fastest and easiest is using Photo Merge um, from Adobe uh, Photoshop and loading the photos directly from Bridge. Uh, so using Bridge, find your folder where you have saved the images. Uh, so you can see we have our four images of this dress sitting here. So what you'll want to do is you want to select the images and then go up to Tools and then scroll down to Photoshop and then go over and click Photo Merge. So this is going to uh, launch Photoshop. And so we have this window that pops open. Um, so we have a couple different things that you can select here, but um, for just ease of sake, just click Auto. Uh, vignette removal, um, I don't normally click this because I remove the vignette uh, in uh, Lightroom while editing the photos from RAW to uh, JPEG. So all we do is just uh, click OK, and we let Photoshop do its thing here. So we'll just sit here and wait, and wait for a little longer. I've loaded the photos in here. So the nice thing about launching this from Bridge is you don't have to open the photos into Photoshop and then have uh, and then go to the command um, batch and then uh, do it. It's just really easy, just loading it directly from from Bridge. So Photoshop is almost finished here. There we go. Cool. So we have our. Um, our quick little panoramic image uh, that I, normally if I was going to do a square picture, you know, I'd have to scoot back quite a bit farther, um, you know, maybe shoot vertical or horizontal and then crop in, uh, and that's losing quite a bit of pixels by doing that. So I, I enjoy doing a small little series of uh, panoramic uh, shots to do a dress like this. So you can have a really nice uh, larger file. So I'm going to go ahead and make this a, a 15 inch by 15 inch. Um, so using my crop tool, I'm going to go up here and do 15 by 15 at 300 resolution. And we'll just go ahead and crop this. Okay. And double click. So now we've cropped it, and then you'll want to go ahead and flatten the image because right now, um, through Photo uh, Merge, you can uh, keep it in layers, um, and I've chosen to do that. So now I'm going to go ahead and flatten the image, which I've uh, have an action, so I just press F5. Now it's flattened, and uh, now you just save this as a normal JPEG, and uh, that's how you make a very quick, uh, easy uh, panoramic.